David Diablo is Yakuza Zero's most challenging and enjoyable boss with pristine battle design and very unique mechanics. These are 5 reasons why David Diablo is the greatest boss in the entire Yakuza series. Number 5. The Immunity David Diablo is immune to many things, including being grabbed, the rush parry, the dragon twist counter, being picked up with beast, the beast like grab, the dragon finishing holds, the beast bear hug, the beast quick step throw, the brawler finishing hold, the thug harsh lesson, the breaker rolling snake, covid f***ing 19, HIV and syphilis. If you're asking yourself why did they make him immune to all of this, then that just means you don't understand the complex minds of Yakuza developers. None of this is even a slight bit annoying or boring. Number 4. The Blocking David Diablo will block literally 99% of the moves you throw from the front, light or heavy, from any side that's not the back, with any style, forcing you to A. Wait for that 1% hit that lands, B. Try to attack him from behind, or C. Get absolutely obliterated. Number 3. The Speed In case you haven't noticed, David Diablo uses Saejima's moveset, which is generally very slow, so they gave him super speed, which gives you barely any time to react, because why the f*** not? His running tackle is sometimes so fast, you can blink and fail to react. Oh, did I mention he doesn't even have to run to execute it? If that doesn't sound fun to you, maybe you shouldn't play the Yakuza games at all. Number 2. The Hyper Armor It is completely impossible to knock down David Diablo with absolutely any finisher in the entire game. And the only way of knocking him down is by doing one of the four hit actions that the game allows you for this fight with Kiryu. Or only one for Majima. This high IQ move by the developers allows for very long combos that are about 3 hits before he turns around and beats the living shit out of you. Before we get to number 1, here are some honorable mentions. You can only fight David Diablo after you achieve the maximum rank in the Colosseum which is S that requires you to earn 1 billion yen which is extremely slow and you have to go through hours of repetitive fights just so you can get demolished by David once you get there. The game doesn't allow you to use any weapons on him, which means you also can't use Majima's Slugger style or the Mad Dog style, because those styles have weapons in them. So that means with Majima all you have is Thug and Breaker. Good luck pal! 99% of David's moves are Guard Breakers, especially once he gets in Heat Mode, so if you thought about trying guard counters or simply blocking, tough luck bucko. Number 1. The Damage David Diablo is the most damaging boss in the entire game and maybe in the entire series if we don't include gun bosses or Mr. Shakedown. Combined with his super speed and the inability to get knocked down, that makes him a total badass. Just one combo can bring you to critical HP if you're not careful enough, and if you're just casually playing, good luck taking him down. He's one of those bosses where you sit on the edge of your seat and repeatedly hit both of your heels off the floor, and for my no damage boys, it's not worth it. If you're wondering if there are stylish ways to defeat him, make sure to stick around for the video where I will show the best ways to beat him and I also won't take any damage, obviously. These were the 5 reasons why David Diablo is the greatest boss in the history of Yakuza. Actually, scratch that. The greatest boss in the history of video games. And if you enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure to leave a like, 
subscribe and comment which topic I should cover next. Until next time.